Hey guys, I'm Jason Lacine. My wife and I are building a home in Wisconsin with a Tesla solar glass roof. Now, I grew up in Minnesota, so we say the, the covering on a house, we call that a roof. I know that most of you guys out there call it a roof. I just can't do it. I'm sorry. If you can't handle it, you might want to watch a different video. But it's been a few weeks since we last chatted and I just wanted to give you an update. A lot of you have been asking for updates, so here you go. It snowed last night, and as you can see from the homes around the neighborhood, we have a, a pretty decent covering of snow, and uh, it just stopped uh, overnight, and you can see that it's starting to shed just a little bit. Um, we're gonna go inside, and I'm gonna show everyone that the house is fully drywalled and insulated and we'll talk about that um, but while i'm on the outside i wanted to talk about one drawback that we're having there's starting to be some some snow piles that are building up now we haven't done any maintenance on the home as far as uh, shoveling the sidewalks or snow blowing or anything like that simply because we're not living here yet obviously but, uh, there's also not gutters on the house yet. When they install the gutters, they're gonna install them lower than the roof, so it'll catch the water, but it won't catch the snow. Uh, we also have to put, I don't know what they're called, but little flanges on, on the roof, so that way it breaks up the uh, snow avalanches that, that come down. Uh, but we will have to work with Tesla to try to find a way to uh, break up these, these snow piles. You can see the one behind me right there it's about a two foot pile that's been accumulating uh over the last month or so and again no shoveling no snow blowing or anything like that um but we'll see how this goes let's go inside and we'll we'll prove to you guys that the house is insulated all right i'm standing here inside the garage uh just a side note you can see over here on this wall we have it wired up for four power walls that we're going to put in, but I'll do a future video about that. I plan to have the, the cleanest, coolest looking power wall install that we've seen yet. So uh, fingers crossed, that goes well. First, we have to get the power walls here, right? Obviously that's uh, been a problem as of late, but let's talk about the garage. The garage has a fully drywalled roof and walls. Uh, the walls are spray foam and the ceiling has the blown insulation that's standard in this area. And then inside the house, all of the ceilings are drywalled and of course insulated. That's it for now. I have a busy day at work, so I'm not going to be able to get back until tomorrow, but we'll check it out then and see how it compares. All right, good morning. We're back. It's the next day, and this is what the place looks like now. The snow has completely slid off all of the roofs. Uh, for those of you in Minnesota, Wisconsin, the snow has completely slid off all the roofs, and um, th this is looking great. The only downside is it's added to the snow pile in front of the, the single car garage stall that you can see there. Now again, we haven't shoveled it, we haven't maintained it at all this entire winter, uh, just because we're not living here. And if we were living there, we would have shoveled that and it would have been gone. It wouldn't be that big of a pile to shovel because that's been accumulating for the whole season. Uh, the rest of the neighborhood, you can see that the roofs are still covered in snow and uh, it's it's kind of warm today. It's uh, upper 20s, maybe 30 degrees, but you can see that the streets are still covered in, in ice and snow. Uh, the pitch of most of these slopes, it's a 10-12. There's one pitch where uh, those are over the deck, I believe, where it is 412 and then there uh, there's one other pitch where it's a 712 so the slopes are uh, steeper than you know what what some other homes might have um, but that's what we chose for our house from this side of the house you can see that on the near side the snow is just about completely gone and there's a, a shaded section between the the garage and 
the second level and that section stays shaded throughout most of the day and there's still a little bit there in the valley. I expect that to be gone by probably later today or tomorrow, I would assume. Uh, but that section right there is non-PV. It's just glass only, so that wouldn't impact production at all. I could really care less if the snow is up there or not. Here on the back of the house, you can see that the snow is completely gone from all the slopes that we can see. Even on the deck roofs, you can see that uh, where there's no heat underneath it. They're not insulated, but there, there's no heat underneath it. The snow has slid off those as well. The only downside is we have a little pile there and that pile has been accumulating throughout the winter. So that one's a little bit bigger. All right, I wanted to come back inside uh, where it's a little bit warmer and I wanted to point out two quick things. Number one, uh, the tiles are not heated. Uh, not whatsoever. The system is not actually even hooked up yet, but if it were hooked up, uh, there's no way to uh, run the electricity backwards to heat the tiles up. Not that I know of, Elon might know different. What happens, the roof being black, uh, absorbs heat from the sun, and then it warms up the bottom layer of snow that's sitting on it and creating a, a small layer of water. And the weight of the snow just carries it right off. Uh, the second thing is from Elon's tweet just the other day, uh, he mentioned that the, the Tesla solar glass is partially hydrophobic, which means that it's designed to shed water and snow and ice a little bit easier than, certainly easier than an asphalt shingle roof or uh, metal or any other material like that. So I hope that answers a bunch more questions. If you guys have more questions, Throw them in the comments here and I'll try to get them answered as, as quickly as I can. Have a great day.